Good morning, guys. It's probably like 4.45 in the morning, and I just woke up, and I can't really go back to sleep, so I thought I would tell you guys how our trip to Mahaya went. Oh, yeah, check out my pretty hair. Isn't it awesome this morning? Wait, this side is, like, flat, but, like, look at this side. Yeah, that's what happens when you, like, don't do anything to your hair when you wake up. It just goes like that. It goes, oh. And I just got it cut recently, so, of course, it's all everywhere. But, yeah. Um, our trip to Mahaya went well. For any of you wondering, that's how you pronounce it, Mahaya. A lot of the locals who live there that call it Mahair, like, Mahair, Mahair. But it's Mahaya. Um, and we went to go visit my family there. It's just a very small town in Texas. But it's like my hometown. Like where a lot of my family lives. And um, it was fun. And you guys saw the video of like me and Darren and Sailor walking down at the lake. But we all went and exchanged presents. And we had a good old time visiting and laughing and talking. And telling stories about my great aunt Perry who has just passed away about a month and a half ago or so but we were all reminiscing about her and that was kind of that was kind of cool because some of these stories I never knew about my aunt Perry like how she got hypnotized to stop smoking cigarettes and it actually did work on her like she actually did get hypnotized and I guess that like she really did want like a cigarette I guess when she got home and my uncle was telling us how he said well just call the lady. She said, if you have any problems or if you have any questions, just call her. And, like, I guess Aunt Perry called the hypnotist lady. And um, he just saw her go, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then, like, that was she was on the phone. And then I guess, like, she got off the phone and Uncle Willie, my uncle goes, like, my great uncle goes, well, Perry, what did she say to you? And Aunt Perry goes, well, she said and she, like, passed out, and Uncle Willie said later, he was like, well, I figured I'd give it a few days, because, you know, I don't know what was going on, and he said he he waited a few days, and he asked, well, Perry, you know, what did she say to you, honey, and she said, well, all she said to me was, when you think of me, think of what I've said, remember what I say, so whatever she said to her during the hypnotism thing, it really did work, because I didn't even know my Aunt Perry smoked cigarettes ever. Like, I'm um, 28, and my aunt, my great aunt has been around my whole life. <clears throat> I mean, like, I grew up around her, and I never knew she smoked cigarettes at all. So it must have really worked, because I never saw the woman smoke. But, yeah, that story, like, seriously cracked us all up. We were, we were all in there, like, laughing so hard. <clears throat> my Aunt Perry was cool. She was a really cool lady. Like... Um, I remember when the Beanie Babies were really big, she got into that, and, like, I got, like, this really cool, like, the Princess Diana Beanie Baby, the purple one with, like, the flower on like, the white rose, I think it is, on it. She she gave me that one. She sent me that one for, like, Christmas. I still have it somewhere. Um, but Uncle Willie and Aunt Perry, they were my great uncle and aunt, but, like, they were always around ever, like, at Christmas, holidays, birthdays, like, they were always around, so I never realized they were, like, my great aunt and uncle. I thought they were just, like, my aunt and uncle, you know, but, yeah, so we all had a good time in my head visiting with family, and, um, my grandma is making me actually another Afghan, which I'm, like, totally, totally psyched for. She, um, crocheted me one, I think it's crochet. She crocheted me one um, and gave it to me a couple of months back, and I've been using it, and it's really pretty. It's, like, bright colors, like pink and yellow and bright blue. It's really pretty. It's, I call it, like, my candy blanket because it's got, like, bright colors in it. And she's making me another one, like, a bigger one to, like, go, um, I guess, the one that she made me before is, like, a throw, but it's pretty big for me. But I guess she's making me an even bigger one. So she was showing me that whenever um, we were down there. She was like, here, let me show you. I'm making this for you. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet, Granny. She's like, she'll be 80 in January. 
But yeah, she's turning 80 this, this next year. Like, she's 79, so she's almost 80. And I think it's either January or February is her birthday. So, yeah, like, she is, like, a knit and fool, though. Like, she will crochet. I think it's crochet. Like, when I was little, she used to crochet a lot. Like, I had, like, you know, like, this Barbie doll that has, like, a dress that she crocheted for and, like, a little hat and everything. And, um, but I didn't have, like, a lot of stuff because she stopped as she got older. Her hands got arthritis and them and stuff like that. But, like, she's picked it back up. I guess her, you know, I guess it's okay for her hands. And, you know, I don't know. But she's picked it back up and she's... She is a crocheting fool. She's made one for my um, little nephews, my little twin nephews you guys probably know about. Um, she made one for them each, I think. Well, she made that one for me, for sure. I, she made one for my Granny Bradshaw, my um, my dad's mom. Uh, so she made one for my other granny, which was awesome. Um, yeah, and she's making me a second one now, so I'm like, goodness, I feel spoiled, you're making me, like, all these cool Afghans, and I'm really excited about that, because, like, one day in the far, far future, hopefully many years, we'll have her, but one day, whenever she does pass away, like, I will have something that I can pass down to my kids, and my kids can pass down to their kids, because it's like, it's like a family heirloom, it was handmade by their great-grandmother, and I think that's cool. So anyway, yeah, guys, I'm just rambling. I'm just catching you up like you're my old friend, and you're just all like, hey, April, how was your trip? And I'm just going to catch you up. Um, that's really all I got to catch up on now. We're almost done with all the Christmas shopping, so there's really nothing, like, interesting going on there. Um, we need to, like, mail everything out. Also, don't forget to join my giveaway for that right there. Um, if you haven't joined yet, be sure and go check out that video. I think it's like the last video I uploaded. Um, you can also find information on my blog, thetattootype.blogspot.com. And I guess I'll talk to you guys later. I hope y'all have a good Monday. Ugh. <coughs> I hope you guys have a good Monday and a good rest of your week. And I will keep in touch. Bye.